The farthest south burial has some very interesting artifacts coming out of it, including a bunch of silver spangles that are all in situ and might uh, be part of some clothing that was on top of uh, this particular individual. Due to the fragile nature of the artifacts, we were not able to excavate them in the field and we decided to remove them in a block of soil uh, and take it into the lab. Through our partners at the Smithsonian, uh, they put us in touch with Cornell University that has a X-Radia micro CT machine that could actually handle a sample as large as our uh, block of dirt. And what we needed to do was actually see inside this box and see the actual construction of these um, artifacts. Hi, I'm Mark Riccio, the director of the Cornell University Micro CT facility here in the Biotechnology Resource Center. A few weeks ago, I was contacted by some archaeologists at Jamestown who wanted to know if we could help them look inside some historical artifacts, objects which they could not open or disturb. X-ray computed tomography, or CT, is a non-invasive, non-destructive method of looking inside objects in 3D. Now that we've placed our large object inside this chamber, you can see that it can be accommodated by our X-ray instrument. This is the only machine in the world that can accommodate objects this large and objects as small as these butterfly eggs and still achieve submicron resolution. Inside the X-ray instrument, we have an X-ray source, which remains fixed, and we have the X-ray detectors, which remain fixed. They can get closer and further away from our object on these tracks as we need to zoom in and achieve higher resolution. The sample on the stage is rotated 360 degrees, and while it's rotated, we are digitizing the two-dimensional X-ray images with our bank of detectors here. So now let's slice virtually into the data set, into the specimen. Underneath that dirt is a tremendous structure of silver wire and spangles all intertwined in a very intricate pattern. Wow. Upon receiving the data from Cornell, we were able to see through the block of soil at these silver threads, uh, which are doubled on themselves, twisted into a, a twist that doubles back, leaving a little loop at the bottom, and there are silver spangles or sequins attached as well. So we were able to see a whole bundle of this with folds and layered upon itself. Uh, and we were trying to figure out what this might have been and the way it is laid in there um, it appears to be a metallic fringe. Here's an example of a similar piece of fringe. Um, it's about the same thickness but our fringe is a little bit shorter but you can see the similarity in the weave here at the top where it attached to the fabric and we could clearly see this in our scan um, folded up on itself um, with different bends and layers and we think it was a piece about this long which is a, a yard. We've consulted with costume and textile experts at Colonial Williamsburg and with the Victorian Albert Museum and the Museum of London and we all seem pretty agreed at this point that this is part of a sash or was attached to a silken fabric sash uh, that was probably indicative of rank. It was a ceremonial sash. So this was a very special object to be buried with somebody um, of a particular rank.